Hello world, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing a video that I suggested in my last Create a Sim video and one of you guys said that yes, you guys would like to see the Ariana Grande so that's who I am bringing you today although you might already know that from the thumbnail. Although I did want to create Ariana Grande but for some reason I just wanted to make it special. Like I have been wanting to create her for a while but I just, I don't know, I've been putting it off. I don't know why. And now that I have the chance to go ahead and create her, I wanted to make it special, like I said. So I wanted to go through the years, kind of, of Ariana Grande. So I took what I most remember from her, um, like her iconic looks, and I did that in The Sims. So I started off with Ariana number one. So this is like Cat Valentine Ariana Grande. So the red hair, the cute little face, cute little outfits, all of that. If you guys watch Victorious, go ahead and thumbs up this video. That way I can know that I'm not the only one because I'm still obsessed with it. I think Down History, <laughs> that might be my favorite show. That and Drake and Josh. I love Drake and Josh. Oh, would you guys like me to create Drake and Josh in here? What if I go through like a series of creating old shows? I could create all the people from Victorious, Drake and Josh, you know, Megan, um, what else, uh, Zoe 101, I don't know, High School Musical, all those, because I was a Disney child. You asked me about Disney, and for sure I will know the answer. I've seen all the movies, I grew up watching Disney Channel. Right now that Disney Plus came out, I am currently re-watching um, Gravity Falls. So I just got my boyfriend into it as well and he loved it as well. So I am rewatching it because when I used to be on Disney Channel, um, I think it was Disney XD actually, I was watching it but I never got to finish it and now that it's on Disney Plus, I am over it. I'm not over it. I mean not over it, sorry. I like watch it every night, watch a couple episodes every night. So I'm pretty in the season already. I am past what I had seen before in the past. So it's really, really good to have to catch up on that show. Um, other than that, I think that you want to create Dipper and Mabel and all those characters. Um, who else would you like me to create? I don't know. I feel like I'm in the Disney Channel, even though obviously Ariana Grande and um, Drake and Josh were not Disney, but they were Nickelodeon, but they were still great shows that I loved so much and now that I think about it I just said my favorite shows were Victorious and Drake and Josh which are Nickelodeon shows they're not even Disney shows but I guess my favorite Disney show would have been Wizards of Everly Place so I could also create them as well Alex, uh, Max and Justin maybe even Harper I think I have some outfits that could be perfect for her um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this Ariana Grande or three versions. So I picked three. Uh, the first one is, like I said, Ariana Grande Cat Valentine. Second one will be a later on Ariana Grande and then back to current Ariana Grande or 2019 Ariana Grande because I don't know the only 2020 that we have so far is what she wore to the Grammys and I have no idea where to find the dress if it even exists and i don't even know how to create custom content which i really really wish i did because it would be great and then i wanted to create the no tears left to cry of the music video with the little dress because i did find the dress uh, for cz and i found the hair but i felt like i've seen that on youtube a couple times already so i decided not to do it i wanted to do something new i don't think anyone has done a video like this highlighting her career like i feel like i'm doing but um if i mean i could be wrong there could be a video out there but the one that i've seen a lot is the no tears left to cry video Ariana grande just because the cc is already there for you um which it's kind of what was there for Billie Eilish. The CC was already there. That's why I decided to create her because her hair is so iconic. Um, but this is Ariana number two. So what I did, basically, I just created Ariana Grande. I named her Cat Valentine. I popped her in a gallery and then downloaded her again. Oh, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. This is still the first one. I'm just finding the outfit for her. But let me keep explaining. I popped Cat Valentine in the gallery so you guys would be able to find her on the gallery just as Cat Valentine, this single one. And then I just downloaded her back twice, um, two more times twice so that I didn't have to create her from scratch again. And I know there's a little bit of controversy going around because of her skin color getting darker and it's just a tan. I mean, I understand it, 
but it, it does change during the years. Um, she was very fair back in Victoria's, but she had the red hair. Um, now we're in Organa number two and I'm looking for the hair. I think this one was perfect, but it didn't feel right. Like the color didn't feel right. The style was perfect, but not the color. So um, yeah, with her skin color, just because she gets tan, but I feel like a lot of people do that now, like the Kardashians are known for being really tan as well. Um, so I did change her, uh, her skin color in these uh, middle and present arenas. But here I am just looking for the hair. I know she was, uh, her little half up, half, half down ponytail was iconic. So I found this piece of CC. It looks kind of weird here, which I thought that I did too, but I went ahead and corrected it in a bit. Um, so here I am just changing her skin color to a little bit more tan. And I gave her those little kitty ears because for a while, I remember she used to wear those a lot. I think this was like during 2014, at least that's what I googled. Um, she, I think through the uh, years, she has kept her little pearl earrings, which I think is really cute. Um, she was known for wearing little mini skirts and a little like crop top and her little heels. And that was it. That was iconic Ariana. So look number two is very, very simple, very, very easy. I'm pretty much done with it. Her makeup stayed pretty much the same, except she started winging her eyeliner a little bit, uh, but not as dramatic as she does it now. So here I am. Her little outfit is complete. I just need to find the right heels, and I'm pretty much done with her. And honestly, I think this was maybe my favorite Ariana Grande. I think she looked so cute right here. Also, as Cat Valentine, fun fact, because of Victoria's when they came out because of Ariana Grande, I actually dyed my hair bright red like Cat. And I had it like that maybe for like a year, but then it was too much to maintain it, so I just dyed it back. Um, but yeah, a little fun fact around me. But now we're moving on to Ariana Grande number three, which is current Ariana in the present or 2019, like I have said. So for here, obviously, I have to give her her iconic ponytail. I think this ponytail, specifically the first one, was meant to be what she wore to the Grammys because I do remember her having her bangs out. But I wanted to go with more 2019, like I said. I made her a little bit darker on the skin because she's really tan nowadays and um yeah her face stayed the same i made her eyeliner a lot more dramatic now because she does have like the very long wing and then she kind of like does the bottom as well then i went ahead and uh changed her eyeshadow a bit too because she does it a little bit more dramatic uh more grown up i guess you can say uh she does look more mature more grown up and then one thing that i changed i took away the cute little childish blush uh like the youthful blush and i gave her the contour because she's all about that contour nowadays as well um so i gave her the contour on her cheeks kind of like with the highlight down her nose forehead and like basically the t-zone of the face and then for her lipstick she changed it to she wears like more of like a matte like nude lipstick um that emphasizes her lips makes them look a little bit bigger which I did here. I wanted to give her glitter, but I couldn't because it would take away the contour. Um, but I play with her face a lot, trying to get the highlight contour duo as best as I can get it, as close as I can get it. For her clothes, it's actually pretty simple. She just wears either oversized t-shirts or oversized sweater slash hoodie. So that's what I gave her. I gave her an oversized hoodie. I had downloaded two pieces of CC that were like sweaters that she has actually worn in the past but they were broken because the mesh was gone <laughs> i looked for the mesh and i couldn't find it so i ended up just deleting it and just giving her this which i already had i feel like it looks a little bit big on the shoulders and it's not as tight in the hips but eh, it does the job here i am back to the face again like i said did a lot of playing around but i feel like at the end she does look similar like if you were to see the sim you would identify that it's ariana grande which is good i mean she doesn't look 100 percent identical like other pictures that i saw but again those other pictures are sims mixed with like photoshop of her actual face on top of the sim face it doesn't but that makes any sense um so yeah i didn't want to do that um i stuck to sim version ariana grande and i'm sorry yes there's a lot of cc but again all my cc is from the sims resource so you can easily find it there just type in ariana grande that's what i did all the hair outfits shoes all that comes up and then 
yep i'm pretty much done with her let me know which one's your favorite and if you think she looks like herself and who you would like me to create next and in the comments and i'm gonna go ahead and insert some screenshots i went back to the sweater just because i wasn't happy with it but i ended up leaving it <laughs> but anyways yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye